Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 3rd, 2021. So today we have a ton of cabochons, we have two cards. What is the focus that the angels are bringing in for us to understand? If you are watching this video, pay attention, all right? Because the things that are coming through in these dailies, it's imperative to our growth, it's imperative to what's shifting and changing and how we need to show up. Okay, so the first card over here is Crystal Praise, allow yourself to receive, and Smoky Quartz, let it go. So a lot of what is blocking our progress is, think again, it's that toxic thought grid and us playing into that and thinking that we are powerless, that we're not lovable, that we're not beautiful, that we're not wanted, that we're a bother that we have to listen to the powers that be because they could destroy us. It's all a part of this toxic eras long <laughs> type of thinking that needs to change now. So let it go is catching yourself when you start feeling bad about whatever it is in your life. I don't have this or I don't have that. Or, you know, I was using a few days ago the example of a credit score. Oh, naughty, naughty me. You know, actually, I have a really good credit score. But I know, <laughs> I know that truly that doesn't matter. It's so made up. It's so made up, okay? And if you guys are freelancers out there and you get paid through PayPal or Stripe, you know that there has been major lag. Just as an example here. Major lag with the banks transferring your money. Holler down below in the comments if you're somebody who's experienced this. Or maybe just, you know, maybe you have direct deposit from your 9 to 5 job. Whatever the case may be, the banks have been incredibly slow to let your money land. So your money's been in limbo. But darned if they're not going to make sure that they come at you with every kind of fee and charge and whatever. They do that really quickly. <laughs> so this is something that in the coming years... We are going to deconstruct that. We, the people, will, you know, deconstruct that and not give into that anymore. That's just one example. Now, this isn't about rebellion. This is what they're coming through and really wanting you guys to understand, well, wanting all of us to understand, is that it's not about rebellion. It's about observation and non-participation. Does that mean outward non-participation? No. Internally. I'm not going to give an emotional reaction to this. I'm not going to allow myself to go into fear. Again, this has to be done in a delicate manner because we don't want to go into denial. We've seen lots of people. People have overcorrected and totally gone into this, you know, this thing of, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. And for some other human being, they are having that experience. And we're turning a blind eye to it. So again, it's about balancing and they are saying that you'll be able to figure it out as you go. But it is time to let go of some of this like toxic thinking. Maybe this is you having to be right about everything, <laughs> right? Maybe you do victimize yourself where and I'm talking about victimization in the sense of like, you know, I feel like I have to wait for everybody else to give me permission to live because I feel powerless, right? So you, can you free yourself of that? And then over here, allow yourself to receive. Do you know that you deserve yeah, you do. I know. Got a lot of messaging out there that says, uh, 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 you only get to have when you accomplish X, Y, and Z. Again, in a balanced manner, we don't want you to just go off and not participate in being human and just wait for things to fall in your lap. That's not going to happen either, <laughs> right? So there's a nice balance here. Let's get these release, calling. Yeah, release that thought grid, and this will lead to some. Oh, there's Michael. Archangel Michael, this will lead to some bit of understanding. Grace, Gabriel, okay, nurturance, Jophiel, beauty and wisdom, Shamuel, love and fullest potential, time, mm -hmm. grounded. We're going to figure out not only is time not linear, but we're going to figure out how to control time. We're going we're gonna to figure out how to access time in a different way. We already can outside of, the, oh, hi, out of these bodies, we know how to do that. But uh, part of, I am here right now, part of the human mastery is learning how to be in this physical body 
and not to manipulate. The word is not manipulate. It's more of like a cooperative <laughs> thing and understanding how to flow with the nature of time. Then we have Uriel here, which is all about passion and our wisdom again. So like wisdom, wisdom, protection, you're free to release, nurturance, being grounded, and it's time for grace. Grace, groundedness, releasing all that toxic messaging. Now the calling comes up. And again, I cannot tell you guys, I've been doing personal readings for people for about eight years now, professionally. I used to do it as like, I don't know, can I call it my party trick? <laughs> Before that, where I would just do readings for people, but professionally for eight years. And so often I have people come and it's fine. I think it's a natural part of being human. I went through it. I think a lot of people go through it where they, they want to make such a big deal out of the calling. That like I figured it out. I know exactly where I'm going. And then I tune in for them and I get the feeling of warn them to be careful about <laughs> not overthinking this or overanalyzing this or being impulsive or dreaming, not, not, dream, uh, excuse me, not grounding their dreams, right? So we want so much to have a solution to something that we don't think about the practical plan. Again, you can't have a YouTube channel and have it successful if you don't know a little bit about marketing. Because it's a sea of videos out there. If you want to stand out, you need to know marketing. And in the spiritual community, that can get tricky. Because people say, oh, you sold out. And now, <laughs> now you're not worth anything or whatever. So we have to make sure that we take our dreams and our ideas and bring them in to a grounded reality. Okay? Approach everything with grace and beauty and allow yourself to receive. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.